Supra. If you started skating around 2018 or so, then you're probably familiar with Supra as a skate shoe brand. They were started as somewhat of a brainchild between Jim Greco, Eric Ellington, Chad Muska, and Tom Penny, along with the helps of Dennis Martin and Angel Kabata back in 2006. They designed many a sought-after and beloved skate shoe in their day, like the line of Sky Tops, the Vader, the Hammer, the Stax, the TK, and more. Their team consisted of the aforementioned pro skaters, as well as Terry Kennedy, Neen Williams, Lucian Clark, Lizard King, Kevin Romar, and many, many more. So why am I bringing this up? Well, first of all, talking about skate stuff from when I was a kid always brings a smile to my face, but this smile is a little bittersweet because I have to talk about a pretty bad fall from grace. You see, in 2020, a Korean fashion company called FNF bought Supra. There really isn't much to talk about when it comes to FNF as a company. I do find it interesting, though, that they are like a consumer durables company owner, and according to Forbes, they have eight employees. But they also own the MLB fashion line from Korea, so if you've ever wondered why you see people outside of America wearing a Yankees logo, then that might be part of the reason why. They also own a lifestyle outdoor brand for the Discovery Channel, which is interesting, but why am I telling you all of this? Because at the end of 2021, Supra's Instagram started getting new posts, like this photo of a guy ollieing over a cone, and a lot of people like myself were thinking, is Supra back? Then they kept posting photos of new clothing, and we see a major logo change, and while this one feels a lot more sterile and modern, it's not the worst logo change of a new company by far. And also, while this clothing really doesn't look like anything the old Supra would have released, the clothes aren't necessarily the thing people worried about with this. It was the shoes. And then on October 13th, 2022, our hopes and dreams of owning a new pair of Vaders got dashed with a post about a VIP pass to their special Metaverse NFTs. You see, Supra has a Korean page as well, which kind of makes sense because their parent company is uh, from Korea. And that page has posts with board ape collabs, NFT collections, and shoes and clothing for the Metaverse. You know, things skaters definitely give a shit about. On November 13th, 2022, they unveiled their design and colorways for the newly designed Vader. And I'm, I'm sorry, but how is this supposed to look anything like this? You take an iconic high top skate shoe, which paired greatly with a slim fit zip up hoodie and pair of skinny jeans to basically a knockoff dunk that was looks like it was designed by a tech bro. Here we have posts of Bill Gates, Elon Musk, and Mark Zuckerberg AI generated to be wearing these shoes. What's in Elon's hood to make it so puffed up like that? His head can't be that big. This dude thinks that cisgender is a slur. Here's a skateboard that this company designed, and this is the point where I can't tell if this is just digital shit or if this is real product they're intending to sell to people. Because the trucks and wheels here, like, they look like they're made out of plastic. Here's a distinguished gentleman holding the skateboard and wearing a sweater that says Metaverse Skater on it, and... This shit is so fucking weird, dude. What the hell is this? Here's a post that's just a Tesla with a license plate that says Supra on it. And yep, doesn't surprise me that this company is owned by a bunch of Elon Musk fanboys. Now we get some more skateboarding posts, but all I see are pushing and flat ground ollies, some of which is in front of a Tesla charging station in a desperate attempt for some approval from the aforementioned apartheid benefactor. Also, seeing this new shoe in the context of being on a skateboarder, this thing looks so fucking chunky, dude. Like, even for modern skate shoe standards, there's no way this thing has any board feel at all. Shit looks like it has the board feel of Timberland boots. On March 19th, 2023, Supra announced a redesigned Vader X, which still doesn't look like the shoe it's named after. And it still looks like an Alibaba dunk, but now it looks like it's designed even less for a human foot. And you can buy these things right now off their website for a measly price of 184 US dollars. Let's see, what activities are we using to promote this? No, you see, we got tennis, golf, tennis, golf. Oh, look, more golf. Yep, this definitely looks like the page of a skate shoe company. Ah, oh, there's the skateboard. 
not even pushing this time. Couldn't even be bothered to ride the thing. Here's a fucking NFT for this abomination of a shoe. Goody goody gumdrops. On April 10th, 2023, Super announced a collab with... <sighs> Bored Ape Yacht Club. Complete with clothing adorned with the skull, which people connected the dots to being similar to the Totenkopf used by the fucking Panzer Division in World War II. Excellent shit, boys. Good job. Also, not a skateboard in sight in the promotion of this line. Just more posing with tennis rackets and golf clubs. But honestly, maybe that's a good thing for what this collab is. But... Why am I telling you all of this when all this information is weeks or even months old? Well, because as of this recording and upload, this week, Supra showed us these. What the hell? Oh my god, no way. These are the Vader Flipper and the Vader Clog. Okay, I know I keep harping on this, but why are you still calling this the Vader? This is a fucking Vader. These look like what an extraterrestrial would come up with after merely having the concept of footwear explained to them. And honestly, I don't know why the original owners of Supra would sell it to this company, unless they were lied to about the intentions of the company, like, oh yeah, we're, we're still going to do skateboarding things, but by skateboarding things, they just meant pushing in front of Tesla charging stations. Because there's been quite a few times that skate shoe brands have faded and then come back. S went bankrupt in 2011, and then they came back in 2016. And since then, they brought back the Excel and have been designing other silhouettes that look like they came from the classic era. Fallen went out of business in 2016, but in 2019, they changed hands and relaunched with the same shoes that they were allowed to release, as well as new pro shoes that look like they could have been made during the peak of Fallen's success. And Circa announced just this year that they're back in business, but they've been selling AL50s for the, like, the last few years on and off again, and they've been trying their best. And look, I, I know that you don't have the same people that you used to. I know you don't have Greco because he's doing hammers. I know that you don't have Ellington because he's with Li Ning. I know you don't have Muska because he's with Stray. Future Alex here. Uh, so it looks like Muska's actually a free agent right now. I haven't seen any posts about Stray in a long time, and the last shoe company that I saw him post about collaborating with was S, but I haven't seen anything for a little while uh, in that regard, so I don't know if he's still working with S or if he's a free agent, but the point still stands that with Supra the way that it is now, I highly doubt that Muska would get involved with it, although I don't think Muska has the same predisposition to disgust when seeing companies making like NFTs and stuff and not looking like maybe he would have a little bit of an understanding of being like, oh, well, this company's definitely not with the skateboarding roots that it used to have. But I, I don't think that like the NFT stuff makes him as annoyed as it makes someone like me. But yeah, I don't see him working with Supra, even if he is a free agent. But just wanted to add that in because I got that information incorrect. I know you don't have Terry Kennedy for obvious reasons, but Circa and S don't have their full OG teams, and they don't do this shit. I don't know, man. It just bums me out that some random company just bought Supra out of the blue and took a hot, steamy shit on their legacy of... a skate shoe brand that they had and yeah no i i knew about all of this for quite a while even when the other stuff came out and i wasn't really making content at the time i was trying to figure out what i was going to do with this channel and if i wanted to make stuff about music and i decided to do the other channel and but when th i saw these two new shoes there was no way i was not gonna cover the fall from grace that supra has had after being bought out but uh, yeah, thank you for watching this little rant video. More content is coming on this channel. I've finally started to get back into the swing of things. I'll be doing more uh, skate video content as well as some other stuff I have planned. I also have a second channel where I talk about music, particularly of the rock, metal, and punk varieties. So the link to that channel will be in the description as well as the links to my Instagram and Twitter. Have a great day.